is that, folks, we don't have time to screw around. We don't make any of this up. You know, I didn't know Burma's had that article researching today that they're turning hundreds of public schools into uh, military academies. And he goes, oh, yeah, I've got one right here. You know, and, and that was mainstream news. What was that out of? That's uh, out of, uh, this is, I think, Atlanta article. Journal Constitution. Yeah, yeah, but there's AP articles about it as well. Yeah, yeah, well, I ran out with that to give with the producer on yep. the desk. But I see this AJC. One, yeah, this is, uh, this is right out of the local news. It says AJC yeah. on the top right there. Yeah, the Atlanta Journal. Yeah, no, that's Atlanta Journal Constitution. In fact, yep. show folks that article right there. We can. I mean, I'm not making this up. It's, this is real. And uh, well, show it to them again. They're going to say it doesn't exist. You got to show it to them carefully, or they'll live in denial. And I just can't take it anymore, folks. They are setting up a bank of the world. They are robbing us. They have built FEMA camps. They are going to charge us a carbon tax. That's what this is about. I'll tell you what's scary. I talked to emergency managers in Illinois, Texas. Indiana and New York, and we just talked to another guy, and he's got photos and videos. This is what I'm in here watching of mass graves and mass concrete vaults for dead bodies. And then I have the Rocky Mountain News from 2002 headline: Governor. The exact headline was like: Governor discusses mass incinerators, and it said they can burn 15,000 bodies an hour or something. You know, I'm not making that up. You know, that's like when I. Read the what I mentioned earlier when I read the um, Philadelphia Daily News, and it says a division of AmeriCorps Secure Corps is training high schoolers with M16s to run checkpoints and warrant service and fugitive apprehension. Or when I read some Iowa newspaper where it says they're going to go door to door doing mock gun confiscations, and I have the colonels on. I mean, I'm sorry, this is reality, you know. But it isn't about Alex Jones, you know. But see, people don't want to hear this, so they're going to say, "No, it's that guy." He's the bad one. He's the one that took my 401k. He's the one. He's the one. Well, the elite will do anything to blame shift it to the people. It's not even the elite, man. They have trained people to be cowardly chicken necks. They have trained people to not be able to deal with reality. Look, I'm out of here. i got to go and get some sleep. All right, we'll be back after this. this is the Info Warrior. And we are in trouble, folks. I mean, they're passing mandatory compulsory service acts called the Give Act. The Give Act. It, may, it sounds so great. The Give Act. We're going to have Robert Wannick, by the way, at the top of the hour. We're going to continue to take your calls. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me. Uh, let's jump to BL in Texas. BL, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, the phone audio levels jumped up when Alex was on, so uh, they Oh, excellent. It. Excellent. Now, BL, are you the one that send me uh, send, sends all the tapes over our way? You there? Hello? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess I guess that they can't yeah, get me. Uh, thank you for uh, I, I got my uh, uh, Obama deception today. I already gave one to the manager of Blockbuster. A uh, bunch of people in there were, as the Watsons would say, gobsmacked when I told them about the National Compulsory Service Act bill that passed. And uh, <laughs> appreciate it. Hey, no problem, man. Watched it. It's really, really a good tool to wake up people that have no background in uh, what we all know. Well, thank you, man. All right, I appreciate the call. I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you. If that is the BL I'm thinking of, folks, he's a big part of this operation. He sends us a lot of news clips, uh, stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of news. He's a true info warrior, and uh, it's probably BL. It is the BL. He just gave me, I think, uh, mid-February to the end of March to go through. And uh, me being a big junkie of information and an archive junkie, I'm just completely and totally excited. Uh, Glenn, I would love to talk to you about the Give Act, but you can't hear me, so I'm not going to be able to take uh, your call. Yeah, right Alex, uh, excuse me, Jason, let me make two quick points if I can, even though I can't hear you. Okay, go for it. Okay, first off, I've been trying to go over the, uh, the Give Act Mm -hmm. It's a variation, a modification of the old civilian community corps going back to FDR. Two interesting things about it. Uh, first off, it changes the wording in it, mm -hmm. the wording that has changed from the House to the Senate version. Uh, they have changed the wording for, from uh, core camps to core campuses. 
Mm -hmm. And they've changed the wording uh, from a camp commander or camp supervisor to a campus director. I have the feeling uh, these re-education uh, campuses won't have very much won't have very many toga parties and <laughs> secondly uh, going through the actual bill itself uh, one of the things uh, pointing towards slave labor uh, somebody wants to set up a nonprofit organization building homes for the poor well what happens is that they can build the homes that doesn't mean they have they can sell them to people of certain economic uh, group doesn't mean they can't make a profit. The only thing it's, uh, uh, that leads to is that they can't, uh, they got 12 months to spend the profit. So it, it so somebody, uh, so basically they're setting up these private organizations. Up organization and sell homes to the, build homes to the poor. They can still make money off of it using slave labor through this. All right. All right. Thank you for the call. I, I wish it. that you could hear me. You got it, Glenn. Um, Again, having some phone issues, but uh, he's saying that they changed the wording from camps in the uh, first version, the House bill, to now campuses. So instead of camps, they're campuses, and instead of camp directors, they're campus directors, trying to probably integrate this give act. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. This is classic re-education camp. This is total Soviet takeover. Mm -hmm. And what, what you can do is just bring the caller up. You can hear them. Let them make their one-minute point and hang up on it and comment. And we'll just hope that Genesis fixes that. But you got to call Ted tomorrow. It won't get fixed. Okay, you got it, Genesis. I'm going to finally leave. <laughs> I love you, buddy. All right, we'll be coming back at you in the second hour with Robert Wannick, a youngster for 9-11 Truth, a, a true info warrior out there. And then we're going to cover some news, and maybe we can take some calls. We'll see. We'll be back after this. Oh,